Hello happy people and welcome back to Linda Tina TV. If it's not your first time here, if it is your first time, do take a minute and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you're notified each time that I post a new video. So as you have already seen from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about the reason why I don't wear my wedding ring. I've had people ask me here on YouTube, on my Instagram and also in real life that why don't you wear your wedding ring? Sometimes they ask me with this suspicious look of, are you trying to stay available? Doesn't your husband mind it? Hmm, what's the real reason why you don't wear your wedding rings? Maybe you don't have the rings. We do have the rings, by the way. <laughs> They're somewhere stored. Beautiful rings. And just so you know, even my husband doesn't wear his wedding rings. And I'm not here to explain really to anybody why I don't wear my wedding rings because it's kind of my business and not anybody's business. But I thought that it's an interesting topic to discuss. So if you're interested in this kind of topic, then stay tuned. You trying to make me I want to leave and you're making yeah. I try to see the one I need so for those who don't know, I am married and we've been married for seven years and together for 10. And the reason why I don't wear my wedding rings is because one, I forget. <laughs> to be honest, I do forget. But it all started from the beginning. Now my husband is not very comfortable with anything on his hands, fingers. The only thing he wears is a watch. He's been given gifts of, you know, really cute wristbands and, you know, this kind of things with his names plated on, but he's just not interested. And so he told me this from the beginning. But not only that, so when we got married at the real first, let's say the first month, I tried and he tried, but it was really uncomfortable. So we got married when I was pregnant with my son, my firstborn. I was about seven months pregnant. So I had the baby right after. It was so uncomfortable having the ring on, washing bottles, and then, you know, being around the kid all the time, washing hands. So I kept putting my ring off, on and off, on and off. It got uncomfortable. That was the first thing. This is just to let you know that we did try. We didn't start from the beginning of our marriage saying, no, we're not gonna be wearing rings, not really. We did try, even my husband wore his ring and then sometimes he would remove it to shower and then he would forget it. So it became a bit uncomfortable. That is the first reason. Laying beds, it's, it was just uncomfortable. Then after that, like I said, I started forgetting, like I'll remove it to clean or do something and I'll leave it in the bathroom or I'll leave it in the kitchen or I'll leave it somewhere and I'll totally forget about it for like a week then I'm like, oh. Honestly, I think the fact that we'd forget about the rings means that they were not that important to us. But anyway, at the end of the day, we don't have anything to prove to anyone. And by anyone, I mean not even to ourselves. Like, I don't need to prove anything to my husband and he doesn't need to prove anything to me. He wants to be with me, I want to be with him, and we know that in our hearts, our ring is not going to change how we feel about each other. It's kind of like when you get married and people ask you, so how does it feel after signing that paper? In my mind, a ring and the marriage certificate they're all just a piece of material stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not downplaying marriage, you know, the real official thing. It means something. It means someone has committed to be with you and has accepted to be bound together with you in a legal way, in, in all ways, you know, it makes it more, more, more permanent. So I don't downplay that. But then I feel like a relationship is much more than this material thing. It's much more than the ring. Guys, we are in 2019. People are going to go out and do what they want to do with or without the ring. Because I've had people ask me, oh, don't you feel like your husband could make it, it could make it easier for your husband to do something if he has no ring because it means that he could be a single guy or then people hit on you when you go out with no rings. Thing is, men have hit on me when I have a stroller and I have a big belly, like I'm in pregnant. They've hit on me, which is obvious that you're with someone probably, or you're busy with life and kids, but men are still gonna hit on you whatever situation you're in if they want to hit on you. 
what I'm trying to say here is a person who's gonna cheat, a person who's gonna be funny out there trying to act single and available are gonna do that with or without the ring. We also know that people can go out, get the rings off, do whatever the hell they wanna do, come back home and put the ring on. So that shouldn't be the measure of your trust. If your trust is based on that ring, then um, you need to look into your relationship, to be honest. So we have trust. And we also don't think our relationship is bound to these material things. Now, don't get me wrong. I love nice rings. I'm not so into hand jewelry, to be honest. I'll wear a ring here and there when I'm going out, but I'm not so into it. So I'm not going to go out and buy an expensive ring. But to be honest, if my husband told me he wanted to buy me a really, really expensive ring, I'll probably tell him, let's spend that money on a trip because we love traveling than just a ring because it's not that big of a deal to me. Even when I've had women say, if you, if it's a man proposed to me with a cheap ring, cheap, I would not accept it. And I'm like, really? A man treats you good. He loves you. He wants to get committed. And then you tell me because of the value of a ring, you're not, you're not going to say yes. So, um, I don't know to each his own and i'm not here to pass judgment or tell people what they should do in their relationships if you feel sentimental about these things um there are people who say they feel closer to their partners when they're wearing the ring especially if their partner is not with them i don't have those kind of feelings towards that ring so it doesn't matter to me but if someone feels that way i respect that and it's really understandable it's just not our situation so for those wondering, when you see couples out there who don't have their wedding bands on, it's really not a big deal for everyone. They're not necessarily hiding something or <laughs> they cannot afford the rings or... No, some people just really don't care. To be honest, what's important to me and my husband is what's in here. And so far, what's in here is quite solid. Touch wood, it lasts forever. So the ring... Who knows, we may change our minds after a few years and choose to wear them after all. But for now, it's not that big a deal. Um, sometimes I do wear it though. Let me know how you feel about this topic. Do you wear your ring? Why do you wear it? Do you have special sentiments towards it? Or do you wear it because you're expected to wear it? Or do you not wear it like me and for no reason? Or what are your reasons? I would really like to hear that. Leave it down in the comment section. And for now, that will be all. This was a short video, just an interesting thing that I thought I could put out there and maybe answer those who are wondering, even if you didn't come out to boldly ask me. <laughs> Have yourself a good day and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.